Nell Patterson is a teacher, specialist in deaf education, and author of HUD and other crime novels in the Silent series published by Avon. What can you say with a few moments of silence? If you saw Rosaline Ellis's recent performance on Strictly, when she and Giovanni Pernice danced with no music, you will know the effect it had on viewers, leaving some in tears. It was a beautiful and powerful way to illustrate the lived experience of a profoundly deaf person. Aired on primetime television and shared all over social media, and the effect on those watching has already become apparent. Rose won on the strength of her dancing skills but, along the way, she captured the hearts of a nation and had a huge impact on the deaf community, both through representation and raising awareness. Everyone deserves to see people they can identify with in the arts and media, whether that is on television, in film or in books. And this is especially important for children as they grow and develop a sense of their own identity. As a teacher who has worked with deaf students for 15 years, I have met more than one deaf child who thought they would be hearing when they grew up, because they had never met a deaf adult. In the UK, the majority of deaf children are born into hearing families and attend mainstream schools with hearing peers. Schools for the Deaf and Education Services do their best to highlight positive deaf role models for their students, both by employing deaf staff and by inviting a wide variety of people to meet students, but deafness is still something that has taken a while to find mainstream representation. Simply by taking part in Strictly, Rose will have helped young deaf people to grow in confidence in their own identities, because they have been given the opportunity to see a strong, talented and successful deaf woman on their televisions every weekend. For the Strictly viewers who might never have met a deaf person, or who previously had no idea about the barriers that exist on a daily basis for the deaf community, Rose has helped them to understand deaf people a little better.